Hi, this is DIY Ashby with Esther and Eric Ashby, and today we are making a seven-digit display. What's the seven-digit display? Um, it's the base uh, base things we need in the clock. Anything that displays numbers, really. Um, it's this thing right here. It lights up to uh, make numbers like uh, the numbers on your um, what's it called? Microwave. On a microwave. Okay, very good. Okay, what do we need to make this? We need a breadboard, a seven-digit display, and various jumper wires. Yeah. And what will be driving the seven-digit display will be using a Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, you can get these at Fry's or any electronics store. Um, also, uh, to make it easy to connect to uh, it, I also have a 40-pin cable. And uh, this special adapter, it's just a, an adapter so that we can put it on the, the pin board. You actually don't need this. You could do jumper wires directly from the Raspberry Pi, but um, but in this case we're going to use this because it just makes it makes it easier for us. So um, Esther, w w how about we get started? Okay. Okay. So um, before though we get started though we need to talk about um, how the seven display uh, pin display works. Then, okay. Right? The seven segment display is a combination of seven LED lights in the form of a number. As you add power to each section, it lights up. Okay, uh, I'll just talk quickly about the wiring. There is um, the, each segment uh, we've labeled here also corresponds with a wire and we've labeled each one of the wires. There's four on top and four on the bottom and then there's two common wires that you use for ground. Yeah, okay, so why don't we actually get uh, putting this together? Okay, so let's talk about the breadboard first. Um, from A to J, that's the rails going this way. No. Rows. Yep, those are rows, okay. Rows going this way, and the rails are going up and down. Okay. And the rails here are for positive and, and, negative. and negative or ground. Yeah. And then on the rows, you actually have two sections. You have section here and then section here. And each one of these rows here, these five pins are all put together. So, okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, so if you put one right here and connect it to this, it doesn't matter if it's here, 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 or here. Oh, yeah, because those are all the same. Yeah, yeah they're okay. all connected. All right, well, why don't we start building it? What's the okay. first thing we're going to put on? We're going to put on this, if you're using this. Okay. So I'm going to put it on, like, like so. And you're getting it on both sides so that mm -hmm. one side is one side will be for um, uh, half top. of them. Yeah. Okay, great. Now okay. what are you going to put on? Now I'm going to put this on. Which is? Uh, which is the seven-digit display. Okay. And I'm going to put it in a bit down so I have room for all of these. Okay. Okay, that looks easy. Mm-hmm. Okay, here comes a kind of complicated part, but not so. Okay. This is the layout for the Raspberry Pi GPIO, where we will hook up the lights. Now what we're going to use is we're going to use, uh, we need to have eight output signals. And so we're going to use the bottom ones, um, which is, you can see labeled here, GPIO 6, 13, 19, 26, and so on. And we're going to use the two ground ones. And what essentially we're going to do is we're going to hook up each of the um, wires from the seven segment display to each one of these. This is how you will connect the Raspberry Pi to the seven segment display using jumper wires. Okay, and, and as you can see, it'll be very simple. We'll just hook up each wire to each uh, output. Like, for example, we'll put A goes to 19, and B will go to 26. So, uh, as you saw in the audio diagram, these all have numbers. I mean, letters. Of course, they're kind of similar. So, what I'm going to do first is actually I'm going to move this one a bit this way. So I have uh, equal space. Okay, so I'm going to connect each of these because each of these has a, um, each of these is a letter also as you saw in the diagram. And so I am going to connect them to this, okay. the board. So which one are you going to connect first? Okay, I'm going to connect B, which is right here, and get it in, B. And that one is going to go to 26. Okay, that's in. Okay. I'm going to connect A, which is right here, to 19. Okay. 
I'm going to connect F, which is right here. Actually, I'm going to get a longer one. I think this is a bit longer. F, which is right there, as you can see, to um, 13. If I wanted, I could have uh, made 13 a bit like... It doesn't matter if it's like right here. So as I said earlier. Right, right. So, okay, why don't we do ground also because ground's done in an interesting way. Which one's ground, Hester? Uh, ground is in the middle right, right. here. So we're going to put it right here because that's ground there. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it on the rail. Okay, that means all of these are cooked together. And then we'll just hook, we'll just hook this right here. That's the middle one, right? Mm-hmm right into that rail and that's how we're gonna do, that's how we're gonna do ground all right so Kay. that's um that's good so it looks uh, like we've we got need a whole to do, uh, no we ha we're not done we have to do g all right here do g okay so g we're gonna put on six and six which is i'm gonna get a way longer <clears throat> one like this one okay sounds good because it's way far away and i'm gonna put it on six Okay, we okay. got that in time. All right, why don't, why, don't, why don't you do the other side just the same, okay? Okay. Okay, yes, sir. I see you've done a good job at set, uh, hooking up the seven segment display. Uh, one thing I did want to note, if you can zoom in here, notice how you put the ground right here to the negative rail, and then that, that goes to the ground to the common line right here, so that's very good. All right, we're just going to hook up the Raspberry Pi. It's very easy to hook up uh, with this connector that, sh that you have here. Basically, all we're going to do is... Uh, We'll put um, one side on here like this. We'll put the other side right here on the Raspberry Pi, and it just fits right in like that. And then it's all hooked up, it's ready to go. I'm gonna plug it in, we'll boot it up, and we'll uh, see if it works. Okay, Raspberry Pi is booting up. Um, while that boots up, I do wanna to, want to notice, zoom in right here, Esther. Uh, you notice how that there's a light on right here? What's basically what's happened is that the um, the numbers haven't been initialized, and so that's that's okay. There's just some residual electricity that'll go through um, while it's booting up. And so once it comes up, when we run the first program, uh, we'll reset all of the the um, the LEDs, and then it'll be fine. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so Esther, what did we write all of this in? A Python. In Python, right? So why don't we uh, open up? Uh, one of them. Let's open up the number one. Okay, we'll take a look at number one, Python. And here's the actual code that we have, and I'll, I'll show you this, but we um, we set the, the input-output numbers here, then we set up each of the, the, the items, and then we turn certain ones on and off. And I'll share the code with you. But if we just were to run this, run, run module, you'll see it then turns on specifically the uh, turns on the one and what we've done which was kind of fun is that we've done uh, we did ones for all of the numbers so Esther um, you pick a number three okay now so here we're typing pseudo Python number three dot py and there is the number three excellent and why don't we do number five Let's keep it with the odds. Yeah, and there's there's a five. And so we can do any of the numbers because we have little... Let's do you know. ten. All right, so... There's no ten, is there? All right, All right why don't we close this out? Uh, thank you for watching as we made this cool little seven-digit display. And you can always pause the video if you want to re-see or see the code. And there's going to be uh, some of the code links in the description. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!